through this destruction of monarchies. And they really did, didn't they? Didn't the banks sort of like take over the monarchies? I mean, the Rothschilds really are, are, are wealthier than the, than the monarchs, you know, than the, than the ruling class families, technically, you know. So that collectivism was done intentionally. The, the, it's not, a, it's not a, um, um, a coincidence that the Illuminati was founded in 1776. <laughs> the whole thing, and then it wasn't a coincidence that all of these Masons, like Pierre Lafont, designed this, like, the, the streets of, uh, of Washington, D.C., and the buildings to have this perfect geometrical configuration to, like, these Luciferian things. It's, it's really, there's no, it's no doubt. This is all true, but I'm digressing. Numerology, because today's the 11-11-11 uh, the thing. I wish my friend Chris Freedom Flowers was able to join us, but unfortunately he's unable to. He is a, uh, an expert on numerology. But there's some very interesting things about numerology and historical events. Like, what happened, for example, historically on September 11th? Now, everyone knows September 11th, 2001, but there are many historical events that occurred that were equally as impactive, if not even more so, uh, in, in some cases. Important things happened. Um, for example, Charles the Great uh, crowned Louis I Emperor in the year 1813. Um, Isaac II Angelus killed Stephanos Hydrochristophorides and then appealed to the people, resulting uh, in the revolt of a disposing of uh, Andronicus I and places Isaac at the throne of the Byzantine Empire, a false flag attack. In, on September 11th, 1185. <laughs> the year 1185, false flag attack, blaming it on another, killing and, and, and taking over uh, uh, a, a monarchy for the Byzantine Empire. Um, on September 11th, uh, 1226, the Roman Catholic practice of public adoration of the Blessed Sacrament uh, outside the Mass of uh, spreads from monasteries to parishes. In 1226, and again, this is just like oh, they would love that, you know, murder and mayhem resulting uh, something co coinciding with the Catholic Church. But it's very interesting the numerological elements. There's a lot of them I can go through, but to get to recent history, most people don't even remember a lot of these things, and except you know, like the massacre of uh, Drogheda Cromwell, where 3,000 royalists were killed on September 11th, 1649, and uh, Oliver Cromwell seized Drogheg, Ireland and most of the inhabitants were massacred. They don't, you know, I mean, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, it's incredible history. Charles the Twelfth of Sweden on September 11th, 1708, stops his march to conquer Moscow outside of Smolensk, marking the turning point in the Great Northern War. The army is defeated nine months later, which is a Illuminati number. I'll go into the occult numerological uh, significance of the number nine. Um, uh, nine months later, in the Battle of Poltava, and the Swedish Empire is no longer a major power. So they destroy the Swedes on September 11th, 1708. Now going more into current history, uh, on September 11th, 1773, Ben Franklin wrote, there never was a good war or a bad peace. Interesting. Um, as far as events going down, um, get a little more into current history. There's a lot of them, actually. Um, okay, we're going to get into current times. In 19, on September 11th, uh, 1914, Australia invades New Britain, defeating a German contingent there. On September 11th, 1916, German troops conquer Cavalia, Greece. On September 11th, 1916, the Quebec Bridge's central span also collapses, killing 11 men. The bridge initially collapsed uh, once before in, uh, on August 29th, 1907. On September 11th, 1918, the Boston Red Sox beat the Chicago Cubs. <laughs> four games to two in, in the uh, 15th World Series and then didn't win until recently. <laughs> Uh, on September 11th, 1919, the U.S. Marines invaded Honduras. A lot of interesting things. Um, it does have a lot of baseball references, interestingly enough. Uh, 
Ty Cobb's last hitting appearance was on September 11th. Now, he was a Mason, by the way, 33-degree uh, Mason. Uh, Ty Cobb, uh, uh, September 11th, 1928, had his last hitting appearance. That was his last game, and he popped out, <laughs> interestingly enough. But getting into uh, the current times, of course, you know, the famous speech that uh, George Bush gave was on September 11th, 1991, announcing a new world order, which was, uh, of course, not a mistake, and certainly was well planned. Then you have uh, Stravinsky's opera, Rake's Progress, premiered in Venice on September 11th, 1951. And other uh, interesting uh, things like that, um, events. The Beatles cut Love Me Do and uh, P.S. I Love You on September 11th, 1962. And uh, I'm getting into some funny stuff here. Uh, the Beatles, of course, interestingly enough, have a lot of relation to Leicester Crowley and some of the numbers, like number nine and other things like that. But um, getting into that. George Harrison formed his Mornoak Company Music Publishing on September 11th, 1964. And... Uh, the Beatles' Help album goes number one and stays number one for nine weeks <laughs> on September 11th, 1965. The Braves' second straight one-hitter against the Mets happened on September 11th, 1965. The Rolling Stones performed on the Ed Sullivan Show on September 11th, 1966. Um, it goes on and on and on. A lot of, just a lot of stuff. Um, what else? Oh! On September 11th, 1983, the Soviet Union performed a nuclear test at Eastern Kazakh uh, Semipolinix, whatever, I can't pronounce it that well, in the USSR. Um, interestingly enough, on September 1st of that same year, 1983, they shot down uh, the Korean airliner Flight 007, which had um, on it, aboard it, was uh, Larry P. McDonald, who was a former congressman, um, and... Uh, head of the John Birch Society who was uh, revealing, he went on only a few weeks earlier, had went on uh, the Crossfire show with Tom Braden and revealed that the Council on Foreign Relations, that there was a, uh, a, a plot to uh, create world government through the Rockefeller Foundation and, and, he, and uh, called Tom Braden out. And Braden said, um, that's asinine and now we know of course that that is their goal. Uh, so it's very interesting. And then, of course, only months later, he was killed because he was, bring, he was trying to bring this to the people's attention. Um, very sad. And he was a good friend, of course, of Ron Paul, by the way. Ron Paul just, uh, asked Larry P. McDonald a lot of advice before he even ran for public office back in 1976. It's a very interesting story. Anyhow, digressing. A lot of things happen on September 11th. But the thing with the numerology, I have a... Uh, um, like a, sort of like a list of uh, interesting coincidences. The first 11 of the September 11th is formed by the day on which the tragedy occurred, September 11th. The second 11 is formed by adding the ninth month, September, and the date, 9 1 1, 9 plus 1 plus 1, forming another 11. The third 11 is formed by the airplane number that first crashed into the World Trade Center. That plane was flight. 11. The fourth 11 is formed by the airplane number that crashed into the Pentagon. That plane was Airlines Flight 77. 11 times 7. The fifth 11 is formed by the North Twin Tower of the World Trade Center, which was 110 stories tall. <laughs> 10 times 11. So it's all about 11. The sixth 11 is formed by the South Tower, which was also 110 stories tall. The architecture of the Twin Towers, 11, um, Satanists love to uh, express their beliefs and goals in architecture, which is true. Thus, many of the buildings of Washington, D.C. were created originally with occult symbols on them and in them. And that's, I mentioned that before, that's why the street designs are created in such a, a way to form Satanic symbols. The streets north of the White House form an inverted pentagram, the goat's head of mole, uh, and um, other things, you know, I went over that whole thing. The 8th 11 is formed by one of the doomed flights where the crew totaled 11. Interesting. The 9th 11 is formed by the fact that September 11 is the 254th day of the year. When you add 2, 5, and 4, you get 11. 
The 10th 11 is formed because September 11th, there are 111 days left in the year. The 11th 11th is formed by the historic fact that New York State was the 11th state to join the Union. Uh, to create the 13th state confederation that would declare independence from England. We have at least 11 firm and fundamental instances where this tragedy was carried out by the numbers. Just any Illuminatist, Illuminist would want, just because they believe a good plan can fail unless it's carried out according to these numbers, which I might have mentioned earlier. They believe that these numbers, not, not that we believe it, I'm just saying that they believe that for them to achieve their goals, that this will help them by uh, going to this by these, these steps. What liberates all our global media is because secret societies are desperate to hold the vast membership together as the world awakens to their ancient and fraudulent ways. Using this numeric language, they can communicate anything they wish using numbers, like business opportunities, low-quality goods, poisonous products, and even terror attacks. Each letter in this chart correlates to the number above it by simply reducing that letter's position in the 26th letter English alphabet. Example, Z is the 26th letter, and 2 plus 6 equals 8. Thus, Z is 8. 8 means good, God, or a non-secret society member. Often, fraternal law enforcement call 8s a CAD, 314, which is an 8, or a CW, 3 plus 5, which is 8. As you can see, F, O, and X are all really 6, so Fox is 666. The very simplified definitions of the secret society numeric language are as follows. 1, or any number that reduces to 1, 10, 19, 28, 55, etc., represents the top, the best, the king. Examples of this are IRS 991 equals 19 equals 10 equals 1, or Microsoft, which equals 46, which equals 10, which equals 1. 2, or anything that reduces to 2, like 11, 20, 29, etc., means to be awake, enlightened, illuminated, knowing. Examples of this are Jesus, 15131 equals 11 equals 2, or gold, 7634 equals 20 equals 2. 3, which is also 12, 21, 30, means the bottom or low quality. Examples are Kia, 291 equals 12 equals 3, or Geico, 75936 equals 30 equals 3. 4, which is 13, 31, and 40, but not 22, means secret society related or a member of a secret society. This is the reason Taylor Swift wears a 13, because she is an ambassador for all the Masonic youth. As is Bugs Bunny. Examples of 4 are VH1, 481 equals 13 equals 4, or CNN, 355 equals 13 equals 4. Now 22 is a master number. 22 is a warrior for God, for truth, for good. Secret societies hate 22 and often depict them as radicals or losers or criminals, like Rambo, 91426 equals 22. Now you know why secret societies killed JFK on 1122. 11 to be awake and 22 a warrior for truth. Now 5 is very important. 5 is 14, 23, 32, 50, 86, etc. 5 means unbalanced, bad, war, stress, work, confusion, deceit, chaos, or lies. 5 represents the Masonic compass and square. Do you see it? The square makes the angle. The compass makes the curve. 5 is where we get the saying to 86-something or to take the fifth. This is also why a lot of top athletes wear 23 or 32. A couple examples are AT&T, 122 equals 5, or Grinch, 799538 equals 41 equals 5. By the way, 
Most movies are Masonic training films.